Hello guys and welcome. Today I will be showing you guys how I picked uh, parts for my uh, $1700 PC. And also I should say that these prices that I show you does not contain any shipping fees or taxes. Uh, so the prices could very well change according to the uh, region you live in. I took these prices from two major retailers, uh, one from Amazon and the other from Newick. This is also the part one of two part series, I'll be uploading the actual build video in part two, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Without taking any more time, uh, let's see what we got here. So to start things off, I have AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. I went with the Ryzen build rather than an Intel build because I usually do multitasking in this processor. I will have to run several programs at one like uh, the OBS and Discord and and again all that one so so the multi threaded uh, processor really help even though intel has more superior gaming performance i think uh, i made the right choice going with the ryzen build uh, also the prices are very reasonable compared to intel processors the the ryzen 7 3700 comes at uh, 274 dollars this is of course without any shipping and import taxes the processor has uh, 8 cores and 16 threads uh, built on 7 nanometer architecture. So these are really efficient processors. Also come with a really decent uh, stock cooler. So, so I thought this would be a really good option to, uh, to go with the uh, Ryzen 7 build. Let's take a look at the graphics card. I got an MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Super. This card comes around at uh, $800, precisely at $792 uh, here in New York. It has 8GB GDDR6 memory and a boost clock up to 1830 MHz. This is of course the OC edition uh, from MSI Ventus. I wanted to go all out with the graphics card because this is the single most important part that determines your frame rates and how smooth how smooth your game runs uh, also there are really no other options when we come to higher price points like 800 dollars only available options are from geforce and i hope there were any other options from like uh, amd but amd but amd graphics card lineup doesn't reach these higher price points so i went with geforce rtx 2080 also i didn't want to waste money on uh, 2080 super because it's at $1100, almost $300 more, then if I took that, I would have to cut way too much corners with other parts and that would be very wise to do that. So this is a really good card even for 4K 60fps gaming. It would hold up those frames uh, without any trouble. The motherboard of choice was ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi. I went with an X570 board because I needed to have some uh, longevity down the line. If I wanted to upgrade any of the parts, this board will allow it no problem. Uh, also there's nothing much to say about this board, it has great reviews and all around a great board. After that we come to RAM and I went with a 16 gig kit. Uh, I think 16 gig is the sweet spot for gaming in 2020. There was no need for 32 GB for any of my work. Even for even when I run several programs at the background while I play the game, the 16 GB will be more than enough to drive those programs. So I got the Corsair Vincent RGB Pro 16 GB, 3200 MHz. Uh, it would be better to go 3600 MHz because AMD process favors faster RAM, but uh, I couldn't find it in my local retailer, so I went with 3200. It wouldn't be much of a problem because uh, later on I might be able to overclock the RAM and gain some more performance from it. Also the RGB looks really nice uh, for aesthetic purposes. I could control the RGB with, uh, to sync with other parts and it would, look, it would look real nice. For the power supply I did with TX650M from Cosair. This is a 650 volt semi modular unit. It would be really nice to have, go for full module but uh, wouldn't do much of a different even with the semi module unit. Comes around $100 and all around pretty decent power supply and 
650 volts will be more than enough to drive the 20D Super and and the Ryzen 7700X. Then for the storage devices, I went with XPG SX6000 Lite M2 drive as my primary boot drive. It comes around like forty dollars for 250 GB. This will be decent to store my operating system and few other frequently used programs. And I use Seagate Barracuda 2 GB hard drive for all my games and other programs. If we talk about this hard drive, there's no other competitor for this price. Seagate really impressed everyone with this price. I mean, fifty-five dollars for this two TB hard drive is just a steal. There's no other competitor really for this uh, price range. So I went to Seagate Barracuda. So I went to Seagate Barracuda two TB hard drive. For the casing, I use the Corsair ICUE 450X RGB mid-tower. Comes with tempered side panel and a front panel and. Already included LL120 RGB fans. It also has a power supply shroud and decent cable management at the back. Uh, so also the airflow is really good. There's a decent gap between the front panel and the fans at the front. We can include three other fans to the back, maybe a radiator mounted to the top. So all around, this is a really good case, and that brings us really close to seventeen hundred dollars for this build. I actually got about uh, 1694 to be precise but these prices could very well change as I said uh, according to the place where you live and and I, and I hope this video gave you some help uh, when you choose your parts for the next build for the second part of this series I'll be doing the actual build and you guys will see how it all turned up at the end so stay tuned for that uh, subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one